Father, Pa, Dad, Papa, Pop, Pappy, Daddy, the old man. Whatever you call or called your father, last Sunday was his day. Begun in Spokane, Washington back in 1910, Father's Day has become a retailer's boom in the 21st century, raking in over a billion dollars in sales of Father's Day booty every year. No matter what you call or called your father, if he took any role in your young life, a part of him is a part of you. Think of all the dadisms you heard in your young life. Get your elbows off the table. A little dirt never hurt anyone. It'll wipe right off. The early bird gets the worm, son. Rise and shine. Who said life was supposed to be fair? Shake it off, boy. It's only pain. And finish your plate. Think of the starving in certain nationality here. You'll realize the value of money once you start earning some. Big boys don't cry. Hay is for horses. What's so funny? Wipe that smile off your face. And you can marry a rich guy just as easy as a poor one. Like them or not, whether they work for us now or not, these little snippets stick with us. Not only to help us run our lives, but to be passed on to the next generation. We learned at our father's and our mother's knees how to behave, how to get what we want if we could even get what we want. How to load a shotgun or thread a needle. How to respect elders. How to endure pain. When to speak and when to shut up. How brave we could be or not be. And a million other details that today run our lives. All of our knower judger rules of life can probably be traced back to good old dad or mom. Are they blessings or are they curses? Well, I guess that depends on how they're working for us, doesn't it? My dad was not an incredible disciplinarian. I pretty much figured out where life placed limits on me and he let me find them for myself. I consider that a blessing, even this day. It helps me explain my independent nature. But my dad was also a closet pessimist. Growing up in the Great Depression, he could always feel personally unlucky when things didn't work out his way. On the outside, he could talk a really good optimistic game. But underneath, he was a dyed-in-the-wool pessimist. How could that happen to me again? I consider this a curse, and I work very hard every day to rid myself of this rule of life. For better or for worse, our parents are not a relationship we have much choice in. Genetically, culturally, and educationally, they are, for the most part, replicated in us. It's up to us to decide which parts of all that work for us and which parts we might choose to rework. Some of us will never even consider this a possibility. Others already have. Happy Father's Day, Pop. I'm still sorting all this out. I'm Kim DeMott, corporate co-driver, and this is another moment of clarity. Mm.